Welcome to the project demonstration of transmission line fault detection using Arduino with a Wi-Fi module. In this project, we are using three phases. Here we can see the three phases, and these are the six poles. So here we can see this is a pole one, pole two, and pole three, and also using a RYB phases, and also using a Arduino Uno board track PCB Wi-Fi module, and three relays. Each relay will be controlled by the each phase and also we are using a three bulbs for the three phase indication and also we can see a rectifier and lcd display and the three 10k ports now we are uh, providing the power supply through this power cable it takes 230 volts of power supply that will be given to this rectifier and parallelly we are giving uh, connection to the three bulbs so the 230 volts uh, power supply will be split into two sides so one side will be going to the rectifier and another uh, another 230 volts power supply will be flow to the 230 volts uh, these three bulbs so each bulb uh, these relays are connected between the 230 volts and the ac bulb so here we can see we are using three bulbs and each bulb will be carried by this relay whenever the relay gets switched on then only this bulb will be get switched on and also we can see this uh, in this part it will detect the line to line fault and uh, line to line fault line to ground fault line to line fault and over voltage fault so we are making a over voltage using these parts so these are the RYP phase uh, faults so if it is uh, more than 230 volts or less than 230 volts automatically uh, less than uh, 200 volts automatically it will show as a low voltage and a high voltage <coughs> So it will be send a, it will show in a fault condition in a display and also it will send a message to our phone using Twilio app. Now we are providing the power supply. After that we need to go for the hotspot settings. So here we can see the hotspot settings. So we need to set a So here we can see we need to set a hotspot name as a Proyet uh, 668 without any calculator without any space and password should be 129 and after that we need to see here AP band and I have AP band also 2.4 gigahertz so this is the uh, 2.4 gigahertz based Wi-Fi model so that's why we need to set our AP band as a 2.4 gigahertz now Wi-Fi, uh, our hotspot is on. So it will. This Wi-Fi model will be uh, use our mobile network. So we can see here one device is uh, connected here. So device name is ESP thirty two double seven D four eight C. So this is the Wi-Fi model name. Now. We are increasing the voltage and it will send a message to our phone using Twilio. Now if I make this port as a low, so we can see our voltage is decreasing. So it will showing as a low voltage R. So that's why this bulb will be get switched off. So we need to set initial position, after that we need to reset this one. <coughs> and also this message will be sent to our phone. So here we can see sent from Twilio Tyler account low voltage in R. For the high voltage if I make this one port as a clockwise direction. So we can see high voltage in R and also it will send a message to Twilio R. <coughs> So we can see sent from Twilio and high voltage in R. We need to set this port as initial position and after that we need to reset this one. <coughs> so these ports are so same. So these are the RYB connections. So if we increase or decrease these ports, so based on that port uh, phase if it is a low voltage or if it is high voltage it will send a message to the um, phone and also it will send, uh, display the 
face value in the display also now we are making a line to line fault for making a fault for the lines we are using this uh, connector so now here we can see so this is the B face so now we can see bulb will be get switched off and we can see B phase ground between pole, pole 1 and pole 2 so this is a pole 1 and pole 2 so that's why it is showing as a P1 P2 and we can see the message over here sent from preview prior account B BG means uh, B phase ground fault between P1 and P2 <coughs> so after that remove this fault and reset again then only system will be works from the start now we make a another face fault so this is the y face now we are connecting this one between the p1 and p2 so we can see y ground and here we can see message from this one y ground now again we say this one this is the b face so there's a R face and we can see so we can see here from the Twilio RG between pole 1 and pole 2 again reset this one so here we can see I have made the fault between the pole 2 and pole 3 so this one pole 2 and pole 3 and we can see the fault here so and also we can see the message remove this one and again reset now I am making a, a line to line fault from B to Y so we can see these two phases are shorted so that's why this is a Y and B phases are shorted between the pole 2 and pole 3 that's why the two bulbs will get switched off and we can see also message from the video yb fault between pole 2 and pole 3 remove this one and again reset it now we make a b phase and r phase fault so we can see rb between the p2 p3 and we can see also message from the here so if we make uh, y and b fault connection we need to reset this again So we can see why a B phase only a light is on but the remaining two phases will be get switched off automatically and also we can see message here R by fault between pole 2 and pole 3 so in this way this point will be works thanks for the watching